when we get a headache not to go for a painkiller but to sit in one place meditate and get your mind in a state of tranquility when neuro hormones opioids get secreted from the forebrain and your headache disappears cancer simply dies cancer is your own cell a cell which has lost its control that's all it's a rogue cell which moves around aimlessly all over the body settles somewhere and kills you but if, even if you get blood transfusion there are certain things that you can transfer from the donor to the giver because every cell has a mind now i'll give you reference for where every cell has a mind teacher is a student till he or she dies and uh, you will never get alzheimers because if you see one one way of preventing alzheimer preventing alzheimers is keep your mental faculty sharp all the time learn something new you know people have learned you learn chinese you will become 10 years younger you learn anything new yes ma sir uh, this is regarding are uh, you mentioning that mind is in every cell of every human being and you gave us the example of a person who went in for a heart transplant i uh, said so, sir so this is my question uh, there are people who undergo blood transfusion quite a few times what happens to their personality very good question very good question yes yes very good question and the second one also i'll ask yeah, so carry, carry on ask, ask ask the other one is india they say is the um, diabetes capital now they're also saying that it's becoming the thyroid capital <laughs> and what in our lifestyle is making us develop these two things could very you please good, clarify very good, for all that very good very good very good very good very good beautiful questions you know these are million dollar questions the the questions really provoke a very good answer the first question yes you are right even if you get blood transfusion there are certain things that you can transfer from the donor to the giver because every cell has a mind now i'll give you a reference for where every cell has a mind this is the whole work is done by a professor of cell biology his name is bruce lipton bruce b r u c lipton lipton t same lipton and the book's name is biology of belief madam 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 mole vendu mole njan ivide illa this girl is so considerate and what did he say bruce lipton and the book's name is biology of belief biology of belief bruce very interesting bruce did another study which refers to students bruce was teaching he was in the wisconsin medical school but he wanted some money he was an american professor not paid very much and he had a wife who was a, you know so bad that she left him and he had no children but still he needed some money so he wanted some money he so he moved to a he moved to west indies to a new medical college with a higher pay there he found the students were not the mugging lot that you get in the american schools and they were not very good students so what he said was he he looked at the students and said we will do a change in this class we will not give the prizes to students who get the highest mark but each good student so called quote unquote good student gets five students who are not good in the class attached to him or her if all those five students pass the exam you will get a gold medal i thought this is a brilliant thing he did an experiment and do you know what he found 100% of the students passed the exam and not only that he took these students to wisconsin medical college and matched them with the wisconsin students and found these students are brighter than the mainland wisconsin medical college students i mean this fellow was a, was was a sort of a, his life is very interesting because he was doing everything uh, he he even tried to be a film actor he tried to be a drama dramatist he tried to be everything not successful ultimately when he wrote this book he had enlightenment up until he saw he was studying a cell under the electron microscope and it's so interesting that the cell in a live media it was transforming itself every hour every day this fellow did not go out of the room for 5 days even for food he got some sandwich there and he was pissing there and shitting there only never went out watching the cell watching the cell watching the cell and when one day he saw the cell getting energized suddenly 
you know when the cell gets that antenna and they're energized he was lost he was an atheist he did not believe in anything called god anything called superhuman he thought everything happens in science 2 plus 2 is 4 he never realized he never understood werner heisenberg because for 30 long years werner heisenberg was condemned if you tell your professor you are wrong what will happen to you you become an outstanding student you know he comes out and he was an outstanding physicist for 30 years till this ass called einstein died in 1955 and 1956 werner heisenberg gets the gold medal the nobel prize the only nobel prize in physics which is given to truth all other nobel prizes have been proved wrong so werner heisenberg's uncertainty principle this bruce did not know because in a medical college we don't learn science we learn simply some statistics medical science modern medicine is statistical science it's not science now coming back to our manjula's question that day he got energized and then he said oh my god there's something and today he has become a preacher bruce lipton goes around the world preaching people and this book is a beautiful book called biology of belief now to give credence to that book there was this young girl in the nih you know nih have you heard of nih you heard yes ma spectacle girl who said like this because in india this doesn't mean what does it mean i don't know yes or no you said hello ma beautiful see that girl is good nih is national institute of health which is one of those highest bodies of rubbish reductionist research in america and it was headed by a man called saul snyder saul snyder was a great man in the conventional sense of the word karma saul snyder was an arrogant man and his aim was to get the nobel prize he had a post doc a girl young girl called candace pert candace c a n d a c e pert p e r t candace was asked to do some work on some receptors in a cell so she was doing she was doing working day and night and then but she was given about 100000 uh, dollars she spent all that but didn't get this what is called the receptor outside the brain the neuroreceptors outside the brain till then we thought brain was the only mind so candace had almost come to a level where she was about to get it then snyder calls her and says candace stop the work i have no money you take something else and uh, go with some other professor and work but candace said sir i am almost there i am in ujre dharmasala is just a couple of miles away he says i couldn't care less don't worry but what does this girl do she borrowed some money from her friends and she worked somewhere else but at night she continued to do the work that she was doing on the receptors middle of the night she will go to the laboratory open the room and keep doing and then one day she found the neuroreceptors outside the brain she was so excited she wrote up all that but she was so tired she wanted to have a holiday so she locked her room and went on a holiday you know this good news or bad news spreads in the universities like wildfire somebody somebody said candace must have got something that's why she has gone on a holiday blah 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 so saul snyder because if you find out neuroreceptors outside the brain it will be earth shaking discovery you will get a nobel prize so this fellow got the room opened when she was not there you know a criminal act and stole her journal and studied that and quietly wrote a paper and sent it for publication and a copy to the nobel committee so see before the nobel prize you get what's called a laskar award which is given for science highest award so committee already announced laskar award in the name of sol snyder on the work which this girl had done and she found out when she came back her book was stolen made a big fuss about it and nobody said we don't know somebody broke into your room there was a robbery here and somebody stole everything etc etc 
and she was terribly upset when she saw the laskar award she said ah this rascal must have done something so she went with her old ledger copy to the nobel committee in sweden and showed them this is my work and this fellow has stolen it so the result was of course all snyder did not get the nobel prize so all snyder's laskar award was taken back but candace part of course didn't get anything and lost her job because she had opposed the boss if you oppose the boss you lose your job so candace started writing books and she wrote a book for you molecules of emotion the book's name is molecules of emotion molecules of emotion her name is candace pert and uh, i think it is random house publication it's a very good book and candace has written so many other books this is a very good important book there is one sentence i want all of you to remember she says time has come for us when we get a headache not to go for a pain killer but to sit in one place meditate and get your mind in a state of tranquility when neuro hormones opioids get secreted from the forebrain and your headache disappears fascinating there's a future is for psychotherapy and not for chemotherapy even cancer cells could be taught not to grow but to love other cells if you have strong mind cancer simply dies cancer simply dies cancer is your own cell a cell which has lost its control that's all it's a rogue cell which moves around aimlessly all over the body settles somewhere and kills you but if it's your own cell you love the cell and tell the cell don't harm me you know you are my friend you don't know how i said you know manjula's question a side answer when a person gets a heart attack and doesn't die 60% die instantaneously if he doesn't die and doesn't have much pain and doesn't see a doctor he will be normal within one week 